Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a physics principle I want to show you, uh, but I'm really lazy. I don't want to open and look for stuff. So here I have the bin that I just throw all the stuff that's left on my bench after a project into to be sorted later, aka never. Um, let's see if I can find the component I need in here. So I'm looking for an LED but it can't be a white LED. At least I don't think it can. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There is yellow inside there, which is phosphor. So this is a white LED, which will not work. Um, oh, here's an LED. Uh, this one's tinted though. Like the, there's, there's, you know, color on it. So I don't know if it'll work, but let's try. So the principle of the matter here is that an LED, you just run voltage at a given current through it, and it will give you light. It's a light emitting diode. It's pretty much built like a diode, just doped in a certain way to give out light. This should flash. Yeah, it's flashing. Good. So forward voltage of two volts. So two volts are needed to run a current through it, at least two volts, and uh, it emits a light. Okay, super simple. But what happens if I do this, however? If I have a multimeter and I take the leads and I'm gonna put positive on positive, that's usually the long lead, negative on negative, and turn this to DC volts. Two hundred millivolts. What's happening? Well, let me show you. Oops, sorry for the epileptic up there. Look at that, 1.5 volts. So in physics, a lot of the principles that work in one direction, AKA um, we put current through, uh, it takes a voltage and makes a light, can be done in the opposite direction as well. So we put a light into it and it will give us a voltage and a tiny little current. It's not a lot of current. In fact, I don't really know how much current. It's like very little. So let's see here. Microamps. Yeah, like point, almost one microamp. It's a tiny, tiny amount of current. Like absolutely nothing for current. But it does work in reverse. So yeah, really cool principle that you can actually use any diode as a photodiode. It's just not optimized for it. So, you know, a photodiode will probably give you more voltage for the same given light. That makes me think though, which color of LED is best for use as a photodiode? Maybe I have to pull out my stuff after all. Look what you made me do. I've got a whole bunch of LEDs here, six. Uh, I actually have more different colors, but uh, I mean, this is as much as I'm willing to do. If you guys are really interested, I can make a full video testing all of these colors and more, um, like basically all the LEDs I have. But I've got a um, one watt LED here, so you can kind of see it shining off there. Um, it is running at actually 0.7 watts, so it shouldn't heat up too much. I've got all the LEDs. I included white, and uh, here's the methodology. I'm basically going to put this into volts mode, grab an LED, stick it on here, and then move it around and record the highest voltage possible. I, I'm surprised the white one is actually producing uh, voltage. So what, 1.1 I saw there for a moment. One point two two. So then you uh, go one point two two volts. And I'll just put this one back there and go on to the next one. And it'll bring you back when they are all done. Super interesting findings. Um, so, in case you didn't know, a uh, white LED is actually a blue LED with a layer of phosphor on top of it. And so the white and the blue should have the highest forward voltage. They need the most voltage to turn on. 
and the blue gave us the highest voltage. 2.27 volts, that is ridiculous. That is well into the logic high level of an Arduino. That is really cool. Um, the red, having the lowest forward voltage, gave us the lowest voltage produced as well. And then green, yellow, orange, um, they're around the same forward voltage with green being a bit higher. And so it seems to track just like that. So that is really cool. I can't believe that you can actually use these blue diodes, blue LEDs. These are blue, you know, like ultra bright ones. They're actually, they're, they're quite bright. Um, and you can use these with an Arduino to detect light. Mind you, you know, using a focused beam of, you know, my, my LED here, but still that's quite impressive. Look how bright this thing is. I'll see if I can point it right to the camera. So there we go. It's quite bright. So yeah, 2.84 volts forward voltage and depends on the type of white LED, but it should be very similar. 3.07, roughly the same, just a little bit higher. But yeah, there's a, there's a layer of phosphor, which was definitely blocking the light. So yeah, super interesting. If you have any of these blue LEDs, um, you know, have a play with them and see what kind of voltage you can get out of them. I'll just check my studio lighting here, but I feel like we could still get, you know, at least a, at least a volt on this. So here goes. No dice. It's not even close, actually. Let me put it in uh, millivolts and see if we get any better. Nope. I really need that focused beam of light. Oh, we got like 20 milliamps at some point. 20 millivolts, I should say. So yeah, any diode is a photodiode. It is just not optimized for it. Thanks for watching.